Stretcher Studios 101 Pool Studio Blue. Here we're gonna make some skylights today in the old office. <clears throat> there we go. Just got our grid set up here. I only have my grid on. And that is all because I'm working on 90 degree angles. Here's a rando house we just made here. We're going to attach a skylight to here. So the outline tool will always separate your roof lines from your walls. I'm going to raise this up. And here we go. Custom shapes. I want a lean-to or a skillion roof on this section here. So it's gonna draw custom shapes in 2D. Get everything lined up here. Grid set up, very important. I'm gonna set my depth to six inches on this because that is the fascia of the house or the roof trim is going to be six inches. All right, so we are going to draw Whatever size your skylight is, I'm going to go six and a half by three and a half. I'm going to do three of these. We're going to line these up here in just a second. So, so I'm just drawing my glass piece here. I'm going to line this one up, make sure everything is centered. You can pop some guidelines if you would like. This is just, I'm just doing this really fast and just eyeballing it. Alright, so I'm going to use my outline tool, D shortcut key. Paste a couple more of these in place, and we're going to line these up here in just a second. Now we'll pop some guidelines just to make sure everything's nice and square and centered in our roof. So this is how I'm going to do that. So we're just going to eyeball it here and get this out of the way. So here we go. I'm using my outline tool. I'm just going to come in, just make sure that we're nice and even. I'm going to snap this over. I'm going to find my center point. See this is off, so I'm going to draw me a guideline here. H shortcut key back in the carve tool. You notice that the green highlight around our custom shapes piece, and there we are. So we've got our three hole cutouts in our custom shapes roof piece here. So what I'm going to do, what I do on my scale is usually offset inside one inch, and then I'll offset using the outline tool D shortcut key outside two inches. And then H shortcut key and then carve it back inside two inches. And so that gives me my frame and a piece of glass that we'll make here in a second. So usually I set my piece of glass at like one inch or something. And we'll adjust our frame here. And I'll go up and have a little bit of reveal on the inside because we're going to make this a wood ceiling. We'll give it a three inch reveal. I'm going to go up with our frame. Now again, you can draw these to spec, whatever your skylight spec is. I'm doing this really fast. It's the same method I use in the custom doors video, um, but I've had some requests on skylights, so I'm going to do the exact same thing and just call it skylights. So I'm going to group these and I'm going to copy, paste, and snap these in place. And there's a one inch grid, so I'm one inch off of the corner and then one inch off the corner and then I'm done. So here we are, let's change some materials. We're gonna put some uh, roof material on here. Let me change this fascia board to some kind of gray metal to match the standing seam roof. And we're just going to double click and highlight just the faces we want to change. Double click. And then we're gonna just find some wood material. We're gonna do like a tongue and groove ceiling here. So we'll double click and just select this face on the underside, we're going to select this wood here. We're going to manipulate it a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit brighter. There we go. And we're going to do our interior reveals also. So double click, hold control, and then click each individual face as you hold control. There we go. And then select your material. And there it is. Well, so that's about it. So now, let's delete this out of the way here. 
We're going to go back into 2D. We're going to click and drag a highlight around this. We're going to group it. That way we can move it in place. And using the... I'm going to turn my relative angle off with the K shortcut key using the W shortcut key to rotate. And then just kind of eyeball an angle. And reset our axes so we can move up and down after we set our angle. Now we're good. So we're going to make some posts here. I'm going to get these lined up and then we're done. So I've got about eight minutes total to build this section here. Uh, once you get the method down, it's pretty quick and easy. So we're going to get these lined up. See, I am five inches off here, five, six inches. I'm going to move this over one inch. I'm on a one inch grid. I'm using my snap, so this is very easy. Saves a lot of time. Uh, let's draw a drop beam here. So we're going to find our point here. I'm three off of my longitude line. L shortcut key to turn your relative angle back on. And D outline tool. We're going to offset this eight inches. And we're going to set the height of our drop beam here. And manually put this up in place. And that's it. So depending on what your drop beam height is, the height of the, you know, the columns and, you know, it's going to, you can determine that whatever uh, you're, you're doing out on your job site. But again, very easy. Um, this is how you do skylights in this program until they can have a carve tool in the house stage, which I'm hoping is coming up here in one of these updates pretty soon. Uh, but this is how you do it. Same thing with the custom doors. Um, so have fun with it and be creative. Let's see it.